DSM is one of the most commonly asked questions that I get. Uh, it's on every single box of paper, and at least fine art papers, and it means grams per square meter. That's it, it's grams per square meter. It is how much a paper would weigh if you had a square meter of it. And so if it says 310 GSM, that means it weighs, a square meter of the paper weighs 310 grams. If it's 210 uh, GSM, it weighs 210 grams. In terms of what it means to us, it actually doesn't mean a lot. Uh, many people will say, the one thing you need to know about your paper is what the GSM is. The reality is the measurement mill or micron is much more valuable because that actually tells you how thick the paper is. GSM is not a, 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 is not a measure of thickness. It's a measure of weight. It's how much the paper weighs. So in effect, I have some papers from Ilford, for instance, that are resin coated papers that are 310 GSM. They feel much thinner than let's say 100% cotton paper uh, from Canson Infinity or Hanamule or Innova. 100% uh, cotton papers uh, have a definite uh, thicker feel to them than a resin coated paper does because they're less dense. 100% cotton papers are more like a woven fiber rather than a piece of inexpensive alpha cellulose paper smashed in between two pieces of plastic. It's more dense, so it's thinner. I love analogies. So think about um, a sponge. You have a square meter of a sponge. It's got lots of holes in it. Could be this thick, right? Think about styrofoam. Um, it seems solid, but there's a lot of air in styrofoam. 310 GSM, square meter of styrofoam, might be like this thick. So for me, GSM isn't really that important. What is important is how it feels to you in your hand. So it, to me, you want to actually get some of the paper and touch it and feel it and compare it to other papers because GSM is not going to give you an accurate measure of how thick that paper really is.